explain the basic procedure to design a hand and foot lever. Hand and foot lever consists of the elements as shown. All these elements should be designed in such a way that they are strong enough to withstand the forces developed due to load. The preferred nomenclature for a hand and foot lever is as shown. Now let's understand the basic procedure to design a hand and foot lever. Designing a hand and foot lever involves Designing of shaft Designing of boss And designing of lever It also involves designing of shaft at the center of bearing. Let's first understand the procedure to design a hand lever. Let us start with the designing of shaft. For this, we need to determine its diameter. Consider a shaft under pure torsion. We know that twisting moment on the shaft is given by and resisting torque is given by equating the above two expressions we get. Diameter of the shaft can be determined from this expression. Let's now design the boss. For this, we need to determine its diameter, thickness and length. Diameter of boss is given by Thickness of boss is given by Length of boss is given by Length of boss can also be determined by equating the twisting moment and the moment of resistance to tearing, which is parallel to the axis. Therefore, we get Or Now let's design the lever. For this, we need to determine its thickness and width. Let's first determine the thickness of lever. Cross section of lever near the boss can be determined by considering the lever N. We know that bending stress is given by Bending moment of the lever is Section modulus of the lever is Thus the bending stress will be Thickness of the lever can be determined from this expression. Width of lever near the boss is given by Note that the width of lever is tapered, but its thickness is always constant, while designing width of the lever is considered half near the handle. And now let's design the shaft at the center of bearing. For this, we need to determine the diameter of a shaft at the center of bearing. This can be obtained by assuming that the shaft is subjected to combined bending and twisting. We know that bending moment is given by and twisting moment is given by Therefore, the equivalent twisting moment will be or or we know that the equivalent twisting moment is also given by equating the above two expressions of equivalent twisting moment, we get diameter of shaft at the center of bearing can be determined from this expression. Let's now understand the procedure to design a foot lever. Foot lever is similar to a hand lever. The only difference being a foot plate is provided instead of a handle. Therefore, the design procedure is same for both the handle and foot lever. Thus, we can summarize as.